Hi, I'm Ray Allen, and this is the story of the shot. You know, coming out of game five, Spurs just beat us in every way possible. Game six, starting that game, it was a really good game. Six or seven minutes to go, it just seemed like it was over for us on the uh, sideline. Their fans were cheering, our fans were leaving the building. The coach, he said to play up, give LeBron the ball and everybody else move out of the way. So after we come out of that timeout, LeBron shoots for three. So when Chris got the rebound, I just thought, get back, get back to the three-point line. Like, Paul tell, get back behind that line. And then I got back out there so fast. And then for Chris to just kind of have his eyes on me the whole time, and he knew I was right there, I think he thought and knew for himself, this is the guy I'm getting the ball to. When I took the shot, it was adrenaline. You know, just the fact that I was backpedaling and I was able to get as high as I got on that shot. That was a testimony to all the work that I put in once you know, I made the shot. It was like a deafening sound. It was so surreal because for me, it felt like it was in slow motion. It was almost like as if somebody was doing a movie. The faces were blurred and the ball was just kind of up towards the basket and it was going in slow motion. And then you can hear it go to the nets. And then when it went to the nets, all of a sudden, the, the noise in the crowd just comes back. The volume just goes up loud. And once the ball went in, I was like, did that really go in? And did they blow a whistle? Did it stop? It just happened. It was one of those moments that I'm sure as the years go by, I'll, I'll have to watch it just to make sure that it was real and then it happened. Now that's the beautiful thing about what I've done my whole career is I've always wanted to take the shot. 